Mr. Garage here, and I just recently turned 40 years old, I know, right? And I thought, what better way to bring in 40 than to do a completely childish video with my most memorable favorite toy I ever owned. Behind me, I've got a Tyco Typhoon 2 Hovercraft, and if you had one of these as a kid, it was awesome, your childhood was awesome, and you were the badass of the neighborhood because Tyco products were it. You went to Toys R Us and you drooled over the Bandit, the Fast Tracks, the Hovercrafts, all this stuff. And I mean, I thought that was just it. That that was life back then when, when you know, you're a kid in the early 90s. And um, this thing came out about 1991. And I can remember mowing yards, doing chores, you know, doing everything I could to make money to save up for this thing. Birthday money, all this stuff. And it took like a year to save for this thing because these were not cheap toys back then. And um, I finally got myself one. And I mean, I loved it. I babied that thing. I kept it clean. You know, I ran it all over the place, but I just really, really kept it up. I actually had that toy all the way until I was like, I don't know. I must have been like 18, 19 years old. And finally decided, okay, I'm moving out. I'm going on my own. Got to get rid of this thing. And I sold it to a neighbor kid for like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. And he promptly broke it in like two days. Yeah, I know. It's freaking ridiculous. Anyways, um, I'm browsing on eBay a while back and I come across a mint condition Typhoon 2. Same color, same everything I had when I was a kid. Even has a little pennant still on the antenna. This thing was barely used, still in the original box. I mean, awesome. So I thought, hey, here we are. We're going to do a video, a childish video on my favorite, most favorite toy of all time, my little Typhoon Hovercraft. And I've already powered it up. I made sure it worked. I couldn't even believe it. It still functions. It actually still runs. Sounds like a dustbuster, just like I remembered it, but it still runs. So let's check it out. All right, a little overview of this thing. And then, like I said, this was awesome because when you're a kid and you're looking at this thing, all these decals and cool stuff on this was like, it was witchcraft, man. I'm telling you, it was total voodoo. Like, beware of air blast. And there's these like, stay clear air intake. There's like jet fuel only stickers on this thing. There is turbo fan intake vents. I mean, how freaking cool is that? I, I can't even tell you. This was the coolest thing. You've got this awesome little remote. And um, only really has three controls. You control each of the fan blades. So you have your left fan and you have your right fan. And then you have a little button in the back, the red button. And when you press that down, that's what actually makes this thing like float and levitate. Now, it's a pretty simple toy. It just has a compressor motor in it, similar to basically what your, your robot vacuums have today or a dustbuster has. And that just compresses air and forces air through these bottom vents and into this airbag, and it kind of makes it float just like an air hockey puck. It just kind of floats on a little cushion of air. And then you've got propulsion by the left and right fans. Now that's why it's I'm so happy to find one in such amazing condition because these things were not as easy to control as you can imagine. They floated around just like an air hockey puck with two fans attached to it. So when you let off the fans, it doesn't stop. It just keeps on going. So they got some dents and bruises and scrapes as you used them when you were a kid. So anyways, found this mint one. I'm in love with it. This is like the coolest thing ever. This is like one of my favorite possessions now, even though I've way grown out of it. But let's give this thing a run and have some fun. So back in the day, one of the cool facts about these little hovercraft is they were actually one of Tyco's fastest remote controls. Now they definitely couldn't out accelerate a fast tracks or out accelerate a bandit, not a chance. But you got them on a gymnasium floor and open them up. And I can remember kids racing them, full on sprint, arms flailing, goofy smile. Go, 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 go. Yeah, go, go, go. Oh. I was trying to outrun this thing and a lot of them just couldn't do it. Some of them could, some of them couldn't. But you get this thing moving across the gym floor and by half, halfway across the gym, this thing is screaming. Now, total, total blast. And the other fun thing was, is their big advertisement is you can take this from land directly into water and you could. You could put it right onto a nice smooth lake and just cruise out across the lake. They weren't that fast on water though. They're actually pretty slow on water. I'm hoping we get a ton of rain over the next few days and it fills up some of the reservoirs around here and take it out for sure on water and have a blast with it. But yeah, so we're going to throw this little camera down. Got my remote. We're going to power this up and just remember the sound of this thing because these were such a cool toy back in the day. So I got my remote, power on, the antenna, extended, and flashback right back to 1991. I love 
love it. I wish I had a gymnasium floor here, something huge, because it would just be awesome to open this thing up. And that was usually the brakes as you let off the airbag. That was about the only way you can slow this thing down. I'm just amazed after all these years that it actually still has a pliable airbag. Now that, that was awesome. I thought that was one of the things as a kid I'd have to buy an extra of or something, but the airbags lasted on these things. I never ripped my original and this one's airbag is, well, perfect because it was barely used. But uh, anyways, yeah, just wanted to share this with you guys and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys can find an old vintage RC like this and just relive your childhood because somebody's got one somewhere in the closet. So have a blast with it, and if you like my random videos, subscribe, and I will talk to you later.